we are living in revolutionary times. There are now more cell phones on the planet than there are people. Almost every activity we perform online is digitized, and we are instrumenting our globe with sensors across land, air, and sea. And the massive amounts of data that are pouring off these devices means we have more information to learn about our world, about our communities, and about ourselves than ever before. Now, big data is not just a business trend. No, it's nothing less than a new age of reason. And yet, so far, Silicon Valley and Wall Street have pretty much exclusively harnessed this wonderful new power to sell people stuff. Yeah, Amazon uses data to predict what you want to buy. Netflix uses data to predict what kind of movies you want to see. That's all well and good, but it feels like we're squandering this opportunity on painfully first world problems. But what if we could deliver vaccines as effectively as Amazon routes its packages? What if we could predict the spread of disease as easily as we predict movie ticket sales? And what if small health organizations had access to the same algorithms that big tech companies are using to boost their profits to instead boost impact? Well, that world is possible, and it starts with people. We've been connecting data scientists from tech companies like Facebook and Microsoft to volunteer alongside nonprofits and foundations so that they can collaborate and build predictive technologies for social impact. And in the over 165 projects we've done, we've seen teams do everything from use satellite imagery to estimate poverty to write algorithms to help teens in crisis connect to the counseling they need. And the really cool part about this is it's not just about the data. No, it's actually about collaboration. And that means that there is a role for all of us to play in this. Whether you're a data scientist, a nonprofit, or even just an ordinary citizen, we need you around the table shaping these solutions. Because it's really only when we all come together to use data for good that we can go beyond just using data to make better decisions about the kind of movies we want to see, and we can start using data to make better decisions about the kind of world we want to see. Thanks.